Okay, this is going to be question number eight, the start of section B from paper one of the sample IB exam. And these are going to be a little bit um, longer questions. So in this one, we have that the probability distribution function for a discrete random variable x is given by, so x can have zero values of 0, 1, 2, and 3. And with respective probabilities of a, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and 0 0.1, in part A, we have to find the value of A, and then we have to find the expected value. Part B is a separate question, so we'll look at that one in just a second. So to find the value of A, we know that the sum of these probabilities has to equal 1. So that'll be our solution for part A, or that's how we'll get started. So we've got A plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.1, that has to equal 1. Well, 0 0.2 plus 0 0.3, that's 0 0.5, plus 0 0.1, that is going to be 0 0.6. And then if we subtract 0 0.6 from both sides, 1 minus 0 0.6 is going to be 0 0.4. So that's going to be our value for A. And for part B to get the expected value, we just multiply each value by its respective probability of occurrence, and then we add those together. So in part B, well, uh, the value 0 can occur with a probability of 0 0.4, that's what we just found, plus the uh, value of 1 can happen with a probability of 0 0.2, 2 can happen with a probability of 0 0.3, and 3 can happen with a probability of 0 0.1. So, okay, 0 times 0 0.4, that's just, just 0, plus 0 0.2. 2 times 0 0.3 is 0 0.6. And 3 times 0 0.1 is going to be 0 0.3. So let's see if we add those. 0 0.2 plus 0 0.6 is 0 0.8. Plus 0 0.3 is going to be 1.1. So that's what I'm getting for part B. So, okay, or I should say for part two. I, I guess I totally relabeled those incorrectly. So let me label those better. Okay, so for part B, it says, Toby takes part in a sports match and wins. So good for Toby. A random variable Y represents Toby's winnings in euros. Euros. So the probability distribution function for Y is given here. So it says he can lose $2 with a probability of B, win, uh, well, I should not dollars, euros, win a euro with a probability of C, two euros with a probability of 0 0.1, and three euros with a probability of 0 0.2. So we know the game is a fair game, and we want to find the values of B and C. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to create a system of equations in this case. So the first thing we know, just like before, if we add b plus c plus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2, again, if we add all those probabilities together, we know that it has to equal 1. So that gives us b plus c plus 0 0.3 equals 1. Well, we can subtract 0 0.3 from both sides and get that uh, b plus c equals 0 0.7. So that's going to be something useful to us. And now we're going to make use out of the expected value. So if it's a fair game, that means that the expected value is going to be zero. It means if you play this game in the long run, you're not earning any money. You're not winning. You're not losing. That's considered a fair game. So that's something that's certainly important. But now we can create our second system of equations. Well, we know negative, whoops, negative 2b. So now I'm going to do expected value. So I'm just multiplying these values together and adding, to, adding them together, just like I did a second ago. So negative 2b plus 1c plus 2 times 0 0.1 plus 3 times 0 0.2. We know that that's going to have to equal 0. Again, that's what we're using right here. It's a fair game. So this is the expected value. So that gives us negative 2b plus 1c plus, okay, if we multiply, that's going to be 0 0.2, plus 0 0.1, plus 0 0.2, plus 0 0.3, plus 0 0.4, plus 0 0.5, plus 0 0.6, plus 0 0.7, plus 0 0.8
plus 0 0.6. That's going to equal 0. So negative 2b plus c plus, okay, if we add, that's going to be 0 0.8. Whoops. That's going to equal 0. So negative 2b plus c, that's going to equal negative 0 0.8. But now we have these two equations. We've got two unknowns and we've got two equations. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve for one of these. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to solve for C. So I can say that C equals 0 0.7 minus B. If I subtract, right, if I subtract B from both sides, that'll give me this new equation. And now I'm going to substitute, substitute that into this equation. So that's going to give me negative 2b plus, well, okay, so c is going to be 0 0.7 minus b equals negative 0 0.8. So that's negative 2b plus 0 0.7 minus b. I'm just getting rid of the parentheses. Nothing else is happening here. Okay, so that's going to give me negative 3b plus 0 0.7 equals negative 0 0.8. I can subtract 0 0.7 from both sides. That's going to give me negative 3b equals negative 1.5. And if I divide both sides by negative 3, that's going to give me b equals 0 0.5. And again, if you think about it right, these are probabilities, so they certainly have to be something positive. And well, okay, it does work out to be something positive. And now, again, if I use this equation from a second ago, we said that b plus c had to equal 0 0.7, but we now know what b is, right? It's 0 0.5. So 0 0.5 plus c equals 0 0.7. And if we subtract 0 0.5 from both sides, that'll give me that c equals 0 0.2. So that'll be our solution in this case. So um, I think the first one isn't too bad. Um, part one shouldn't hopefully be too bad at all. Um, the expected value, again, you're just multiplying and adding those values together. Uh, and then the second, part B, uh, was a little more tricky. You had to create the, the system of equations, and but that's the whole trick. And you need to know that a fair game is going to mean the expected value equals zero. So... Certainly a few things to know, but if you know those things, it's a relatively, hopefully, straightforward system of equations that you can solve.